Hello Glory Nuggets, Alex here with your weekly first class delivery of Grey Day video content here on Top 5 Shorts, the show where I round up the last seven days worth of outrageous, awe-inspiring and incredible footage broadcast on Barcroft TV and check out the conversations you've been having about it. Thank you to everybody who's been sending in feedback about the show and jesting about my admittedly ridiculous invented names for people. Do suggest some new nicknames I can use, or maybe teach me some slang from your part of the globe. Just keep it clean, you rascals. Firing in, kapow, at the number five spot this week. It's a mini documentary entitled Gun of a Preacher Man, which introduces us to a chap named John Correa. John's an evangelical Christian pastor in Arizona, USA, who owns an arsenal of over 20 firearms and believes that the Bible justifies the use of guns. This short saw your comments pouring faster than speeding bullets. In fact, John himself logged on to the Barcroft TV YouTube page to respond to viewers and answer questions directly, which gave rise to some fascinating exchanges. Head over to the video to read the in-depth discussions in full and if you've got thoughts on this topic, please do add your voice to the comments. You might also want to watch our film about Bunny Hunter, a female survivalist who thinks that firearms training helps women become more empowered. Links to all the videos I mention are listed below. How convenient! Going from the type of guns you fire to the type of guns you flex. In at four, it's Becky Barrett, the weightlifting mum who's training to compete in strong woman championships. She can pull cars, raise eight stone barbells above her head, and deadlift over twice her own body weight. I love it when you guys spot the quirky little details that lurk in our footage, and several YouTubers clock that at 2.28, Becky's partner Adam has some seriously fancy bling bling nails going on. Superbly spied everybody, perhaps Becky's daughter Kayla had something to do with that. Stretching her way in at number three, it's the gobsmackingly flexible 96-year-old who's made her way into record books as the oldest yoga teacher on the planet. Tao Porchon Lynch was born in 1918 when World War I was still raging. To give you an idea of how different things were back then, bubblegum, cheeseburgers, toasters, instant cameras and band-aid plasters, none of them existed. I love Dom Fishing UK's comment, who says that Tao should join the Avengers. She does look like she's got superpowers. For better or for worse, in sickness and in health. And number two, it's the girl who married a dog. Many of you try to be respectful towards the villagers' beliefs, even if you didn't agree with them or found them odd. But a lot of you thought the wedding was absolute nonsense and said you felt sorry for the girl and the dog. Over on Facebook, Vanessa Narian observes that in some parts of India, men also get married to dogs, so the tradition isn't just restricted to women. Claiming the prestigious number one spot this week, it's a true tale of underdog video victory, as a plucky little mongoose takes on four lions. Footage filmed in the Masai Mara National Park in Kenya shows a screeching marsh mongoose standing up to a pack of juvenile lions, even biting one on the nose before they chase him into a hole. But he bravely re-emerges to scrap with them again. This tiny but mighty charismatic animal reminded more than a handful of you of another character who's famous across the internet for being small of size but ferocious of spirit the hallowed honey badger. What would happen if those two ever met each other? The ultimate death match. That's a wrap for this week, but let's give you a cheeky clue about what's coming up over the next seven days. These enthusiasts have taken their passion for dolls to the extreme. Bye bye for now though. See you next time, Mallow Boglins. Thank mm -hmm. you.